Hi guys, it's Rachel. I'm here with a VR to Nova Luna Tarot. She created a tag called 10 Forever Marseille Cards. There's another version of this tag going around by her called 10 Forever Cards that I haven't done a VR to yet. Anyway, this Marseille edition um, seemed less daunting. <laughs> So this is a community challenge that I was tagged in. And honestly, even if I hadn't been tagged, I probably would have jumped right in anyway, because I just think this sounded like so much fun. If you know me, you know I love Marseille. So you choose 10 of your favorite Marseille cards. Um... And I think I did it. This was a little bit more <laughs> difficult than I thought. I had so many cards, but she said you could cheat. So you're supposed to come up with 10. I think I have 15, so that's not too bad. So anyway, let's try and get right into it. So I grabbed 10 decks and I tried to choose one card from each. First I have, um, where is the box? I have the Pierre Madinier. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. I chose the High Priestess card because I love the facial expression on the High Priestess here. I love the faces in most of the cards in this deck and the coloring. It's the Pierre Madinier is known as one of the loveliest of the Marseille decks and I quite agree um I don't know she just looks like maybe she's observing something that she doesn't like but she's not being affected by it I just I chose these cards for the most part purely on uh visual reception like it's an aesthetic thing which just makes it even more fun so I'm probably I'm probably not going to get too much into like you know the symbolism behind the art and the cards it's so beautiful and then also from this deck I'm cheating already is the temperance card Everybody loves a Temperance card in the Marseille, right? I love these golds in this deck. It's so beautiful. All right. Next, we have a card from the Epinal Tarot by Francois Georgen. Um, it's a later Marseille from 1860. I chose this card here, the Page of Wands, for one reason. He looks exactly like my dad. <laughs> exactly like him. It's uncanny. And every time I get this card, it just makes me laugh and smile. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful deck. Um, it's one of my favorites. You can find, I've talked about this before, you can find this facsimile on um, the Deviant Moon website by Patrick Valenza. And if you ask me, it's quite affordable. But yeah, guys, oh my gosh, it looks just like my father. <laughs> I get such a kick out of it. I really do. All right, next we have the Tarot de Paris. This is a facsimile deck um, from the deck in the Bibliothèque Nationale. Um, it's a very old one from 1650, I believe. I chose this star card because uh, something about the line work and it just draws my eye in. Like all of these vertical I don't know <laughs> it 
sorry, I've suddenly lost my words, but I think it's a beautiful card. Um, I love this deck. I love the, the borders. I love checkers. I have like four pairs of bands, I think, because I love checkers so much. Um, I also love what he's wearing. He just looks like he really knows his craft. And he's a man of his time. I think it's beautiful. And then a runner up from this deck is this page of cups. Um, <laughs> because it's fun. I don't know. Uh, he looks like quite the dandy. Right? With his different colored stockings. There's just something about this that really places me in the time from which it came. Like, this is what people wore. I don't know. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I get a kick out of it. I think I chose some of these cards because they make me giggle. All right. Next we have the Tarot Edition Millennium. It's a beautiful deck and it was it was hard choosing one. I'm sorry that I'm all like tongue-tied and weird today and I'm like pronouncing things weird. I don't know if I'm nervous or what. Um, I'm fidgety. <laughs> My hands are sweaty for some reason. Anyway, um, I think that's distracting me. I chose the lover's card. I, I love the expressions in the faces. I really love the colors in this deck. It's probably my favorite of the cleaned up versions of the Marseille. I just think it's really beautiful and fun. And there's a lot that you can read into this image, depending on the type of reading that you're doing. I really, I really dig it. All right, next we have... To Rocco Gutenberg, 1840. I chose the tower. I just dig it. I don't know. I I can't really explain it. It's just a visual thing. I also really like the moon card in this deck. I I love the color palette. They're like earth tones. I find the coloring quite unique. Um. I had wanted this one for quite a while before I was able to snag it. And I really like this face coming out of the sun or the moon or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, I just dig it. All right. Next is the Adam... C D Hato Hato. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's from Tarot Sheet Revival. It's amazing. It's a beautiful deck. I chose the Two of Swords. I mean, I could get into some some symbology about the bird, like. I don't know how it represents the freedom of choice or some peace, but honestly, I just like this because of the bird. I think it's so cute and really visually satisfying. <laughs> I just like it. I think it's so cute. And I love the checkered borders in this deck. I don't know. I just love it. I really hope that I wasn't like this most of the time. I don't feel like refilming. <laughs> okay. Next is the Jean Noble. This particular facsimile. Um, I chose the King of Discs or Pentacles or Coins, whatever you like to use. I love the King of discs in a Marseille and especially this one especially this guy here 
there's just something about the positioning of his body that is, is visually appealing to me. Like he's sort of making the number four or something. I love the colors here. And I love what he's wearing, <laughs> especially his hat. Look at that hat. What I've noticed about the king of discs over time is that his hat slowly changed. If you look here, he's got a crown on. And then over the years, the hat just sort of, I don't know, it, it morphs over time. Uh, let me see. Like, here's another one. This is um, a Conver Marseille. I really like this one, too. I uh, A few years ago, I think I laid out all of the, the kings in the Marseille decks I had. I don't know. What do you guys think? I love his face, too. Okay. Right next is a card from the Vandenborg by Pablo Robledo. I chose this tower card. I find it just very visually appealing when they show the tree being struck by lightning. I love trees, so I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like seeing them destroyed, but. I'd rather see them destroyed by nature than man, I suppose. Um, I just find it very visually satisfying. And the tower is typically one of my favorite cards. This is a gorgeous deck. It's just right up my alley. I don't know. And I love these little, these little creatures. But don't worry, they're going to be okay. Because they're going to run inside. He's going to pick them up and they're going to go and be cozy somewhere. No animals were harmed. And if you guys know me, you've probably heard me oogle over this card, which is obviously took these older images as an inspiration. This is the, um, the Triomphi della Luna by Patrick Valenza, the paradoxical edition. So I love in this one, <laughs> I love how these Creatures are like little devil chickens or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of my favorite cards. Okay. Next, I have the Jacob Jorger. This deck is so funky and fun and colorful. I chose, again, the King of Discs. I like his hat here as well. And I love the colors of his get up. These different blues. And there's a checkered floor. And check out his seat. It's like red and purple. Yeah, there's purples in this Marseille, which is just fun. Isn't he cool? I love this card. And a runner up from this deck is the tower because it makes me laugh. Do you see? Like, look at this little face. Can you see that? It's like, is it smiling? Like, what? <laughs> is that the face of destruction? I don't know. <laughs> That's what always comes to mind when I see that, like the face of destruction. Funny. Okay. Next, we have the Claude Burdell, 1751. This is a beautiful Swiss Marseille. It was very hard to choose one from this deck. I love the Queen of Wands. Um, I love the Queen of Wands in most Marseille, but this one is prob probably my favorite. I love her so much. I actually drew a little picture of her, like, 
my rendition of this particular image in one of my journals. And she looks like, she looks sort of like one of my best friends. I just think she is beautiful. And I love the colors in this deck. This like burnt orange and this dark midnight blue and this emerald green. And I love the gold. I love that there's gold instead of um, more of like a yellow in this deck. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love her so much. Now, I love the Claude Burdell. I think it was my first... Um, this was my first facsimile deck, and I got it as a gift from my boyfriend some years ago. Uh, yeah, at that time, it, it wasn't... It was like maybe 50 bucks or something, but that was not something that I was going to spend and um back in the day <laughs> and um it was my I chose that over a handful of others I, I still think it's one of the most beautiful Marseilles so also from this deck because I couldn't just choose just one is the ace of cups have you seen a more beautiful ace of cups in a Marseille look at this I mean I don't know. I mean, I guess you could say, like, look at these, look at this, like, filigree down here. You could say it's just sort of, I don't know, like, ostentatious or something. But no, I think it's, I just think it's beautiful to look at. And you have this, this phoenix or this eagle or something, right? Like, rising from the ashes. And there's the sun. And there's something about this vessel that makes me think of a kingdom that I want to enter. Like there's a door and I have to find my way in. Or it's like truly the Holy Grail. I don't know. I love this Ace of Cups. I just think it's so beautiful. I love this blue, how it's sort of like washes out slowly like this gradient and it probably wasn't intentionally done that way um but like sparkles i love it and one more honorable mention is the two of cups from the claude burdell because i love the two of cups in marseille it's probably one of my favorite cards i just think it's very pretty to look at and uh especially this one here in the claude burdell you have all these details here that you don't see in um, a lot of Marseille. Love it. All right. Well, I think that'll about do it. This was so much fun. And I can't wait to see some of the other VRs. And... Um, I feel like I could just go on and on about like my favorite cards in Marseille. I thought this was just a blast. So uh, thank you, Nova, for tagging me and for creating this, this fun community challenge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.